In today's episode of Linus Tech Tips Home Isolation Edition, we are going to take these plain old boring keyboard keycaps and infuse dye into the surface of them to make our very own full color custom keycaps. All you need to do this is a converted inkjet printer, a homemade heat press, some sublimation paper, in my hand, left, and a little bit of patience. This is gonna be my first time doing it, so let's hope that Colin's instructions are extremely clear. Simply Safe is the effective and affordable home security service designed to keep your home safe. Head to simplysafe.com forward slash LTT and stay tuned for more info coming later on in this video. Dye sublimation is the process of printing a dye onto a transfer medium, then with the application of both heat and pressure, infusing the dye into the surface of a receptive material. This process is commonly used to print onto mugs, clothing, phone cases, and much, much more. And with a little bit of work, you can take an everyday inkjet printer and some dye sublimation transfer paper. Oh, apparently I already have that one. How convenient. Note that if you choose to convert a second-hand printer, guys, there are some extra steps involved. We went new and we chose the Epson WF7210 because it's relatively cheap and there were ample choices for dye sub conversion kits on Amazon. Time to set it up, I guess. I have no instructions for this, so woo, good luck. The most important thing though is to not run the stock cartridges at any point because then it's a used printer and now you have to do those extra steps. This looks and feels extremely cheap. Refill ink hole is this. This is so stupid. These don't even have screw on tops. This just like rams on there. That's not amazing. Wait, oh shoot, that's not the, oh, that's the air hole. Oh shoot. I have one job, I have one job. Put the thing into the correct hole. See, you knew I wasn't gonna be able to handle that. All right, hey, one down. <laughs> I think, I think it's, it's the size, size because, because normally, normally the black, black ones, ones are bigger, bigger but, but I don't think, think it actually lets, lets you fill it all the way. Okay, there. We've got us a printer, ladies and gentlemen. Probably like that, I guess. Would I screw up something as simple as loading paper in a printer? Well, would I screw up something as big as marrying someone who doesn't know how to put paper in a printer? No. Now that that's over with, we can get to printing. So I've actually got a sheet of designs from our very own one and only Macro King, Taryn Van Hemert. Apparently, this is just one of the uh, many that Taryn has requested. So there's gonna be a lot of trial and error here. I guess it doesn't really matter which design we uh, start with. Why does he need a band key? Like Why does he band hammer. Gun key? Gun key? I don't know. So while that's printing, guys, um, you can take a break and visit lttstore.com. Oh, who's a hater now? All right, let's have a look at our size here. So these are supposed to be 11 millimeter by 11 millimeter, which should fit pretty nicely onto our keys. We didn't go right to the edge. Um, we left a bit of a border but that was on purpose. Now that that's done, I will finally go through the press that Colin made. So the construction is pretty simple. You've got two pieces of wood, small hinge, a heater element right here, and then a power supply for the aforementioned heater element. Uh, we also used some high temp JB Weld to hold the heater in place. And basically all that's involved is you take this puppy, put it this way, and then apply pressure. When you've got both heat and pressure, the ink should soak into the keycap permanently. Colin's instructions were doing pretty well until now. I'm supposed to remove this silicone from this plastic strip, but they seem to have bonded fairly permanently. Not gonna work. Nope, this is not coming off. Fine. Uh, I guess you're getting the ax today. This was the only other silicone thing that I could find in this building, unfortunately. Now we just need a piece of this that is about the same size as our keycap printout. The silicone goes on there. Apply pressure for 50 to 60 seconds. Jeez, that is a long time. Okay, here we go. All right, let's have a look. We got nothing. Let's try that again. Absolutely nothing. 
I have an uneasy suspicion that this ink is not dye sublimation ink at all because I would have expected it to transfer at least a little bit so far. As you guys can probably tell from the improvements to the lighting, uh, skill with the camera and beard, some time has passed and I am ready to pick up again with DIY custom keycaps. This time with the correct ink. You want the Minecraft head or you want the Minecraft block? Head. So we need to take our creeper and we're gonna put it on top of there. That's upside down. Uh, yes, so that's the whole point. The ink on the top is going to get soaked into this plastic right here. So it needs to be upside down. Can you count to 60? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 e